What is up, I'm Mattress. Hope you guys are having an amazing freaking day. I'm having a good one myself. You guys are enjoying the ice fishing videos that myself and Porn Stash went shot the, the, a couple days ago. And I'm so glad that you're liking them because to be honest, as much as I was not looking forward to the ice fishing season, getting out there and catching some awesome freaking fish was absolutely amazing. It turned me up, I was super excited. And so I think today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go upgrade our ice fishing equipment. I've been ice fishing for probably about 10 years now but I've never taken it as serious as my open water fishing so I never really invested the money into it that I probably really need to do since I'm gonna be doing you know I fish for a living every single day so I want to go get some nicer stuff so that's exactly what we're gonna freaking do today we're gonna head out to the local sporting goods store we're gonna spend all of our damn money and then we're gonna go catch some damn slaunches the next few days you guys are gonna like this one if you guys like the ice fishing videos I'd love if you go drop a thumbs up right now that lets me know that all this money that I'm about to waste is going to be worth it but I'm a fisherman it's absolutely necessary necessary for me to spend 100% of my money on fishing and so let's go do that right now let's go Okay, so just got up to the fishing section. I think one of the most important things I want to purchase is a hard case mechanism to put all my fishing rods in, my fishing tackle, um, and of course the thing that you're looking at right now, my nice camera, so I don't end up losing it again. So here's a selection right here. I saw this one actually was on sale Black Friday for like 80 bucks. It's 130, it's kind of expensive. Let's take a look at what's inside this guy. This thing actually looks pretty badass. It comes with like six different boxes, holds rods up to 40 some inches long. Probably could fit my camera right in one of those two spots right there. So it's expensive, 130 bucks, but I think that might be something that we end up taking home with us today. Not that exciting of an item, not some fancy lure or auger or something like that. I'm sure you guys at Ice Fish know that there's always, if you have rods and buckets, you got tips sticking out, you got baits getting stuck to everything, hooks everywhere. Something I want to alleviate. All right, just found this Eagle Claw rod case actually, and it's like forty-five dollars. So it's a third the price of this guy over here. And look at this; it's even like a—it's a little bit wider case. It's deeper, so I can definitely fit my camera in there. It doesn't have quite as heavy duty. This box isn't quite as heavy duty as uh, this one here. I don't feel like I could drive my car over this. I don't plan on driving my car over this though, or even really shipping anything in it. So I think I might actually go with the cheaper one, even though we're about to blow a lot of money today. Definitely gonna need some old wax worms. Yep, wax worms. Let's do trace. All right, these guys right here, tip ups. Definitely gonna get some thermal ones. These ones are better than the typical ones that are like this over here. Even though they're a little bit more expensive, these are $19.99. Gonna get a few of them because they are insulated, which means the hole is not going to freeze up around like these guys do. They get stuck in the ice. It sucks. It's a bad deal. Then you get a bite and it doesn't pop up and stuff. So pick up a couple of these guys. Given the crappie bite the other day that we were on, we are definitely gonna go to ourselves some more slip floats here is something i absolutely 100 percent need a better pair of for ice fishing and that is ice fishing cleats if you've been on the ice you know that oh it's shocking ice is freaking it's like yeah i know so i need to buy some better ones because i about ate shit a million times out of the water porn stash so let's figure out a good pair of wear I'm really feeling like spending 70 bucks on these right here but at the same time i know you're probably going to get what you pay for with these guys i don't know let's see something kind of middle of the road these look pretty good for 25 a little chain action kind of like these too these appear to be pretty legit for 25 bucks. Let's get these guys. Well, after the total ass whooping we did with the old Mr. Swedish Pimple, I think this is the one, the green one. We're gonna have to get another one of those. All right, so the stash tells me these are the absolute deal for pike fishing on tip-ups. And we definitely want to target some pike on tip-ups, I think, the next couple times we go out fishing, put them in the back. Oh, that's the dumbest looking thing I've ever seen, but supposedly these things work, so let's get a couple of these guys. This one has fluorocarbon, these have wires. So I'm assuming these are more for pikes yeah, let's get this guy for uh, for the Walters. All right, so as you guys know, one of the major comfort things for ice fishing that I do not have or have not had in the past is a power auger. Now, a hand auger works great. It's really good. It's what I've used my entire life, but that kind of creates some problems whenever you're drilling a whole bunch of holes or you really want to cover a lot of water, or especially when the ice is super, super thick. And so my fat lazy ass, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna get a power auger this year, but I'm going to get what I've heard is the best auger that you can get, and that's this new electric auger, which is Oh, this guy right here, the old lithium 40 volt from Strike Master. I don't work with this company or anything like that. And honestly, I'm just kind of winging it, kind of figuring out along the way what the best stuff is. And I've heard so many good things about this guy right here. So this is my big ticket out. It's like $550 auger. It's 
expensive, but I think it's gonna definitely be worth it. They say you can cut like 100 to 120 holes with it, which is absolutely badass. My entire job is recharging batteries, using computer batteries, GoPro batteries, camera batteries, fish finder batteries, boat batteries, all different types of batteries recharging. And I know from that, now that I'm having a, a battery operated unit, which I'm going with because I've heard bad things about the uh, the gas augers sometimes binding up in the really, really cold. But one thing I've definitely learned is to uh, get extra batteries. So this battery is, is a separate battery for it. It comes with it. It's $200, but there's a little deal going. If you buy the auger, you get the second battery for 50 bucks. So I think that's a good deal. It could be tough to pass up. And it's definitely just gonna be a little bit of insurance. So we're gonna get the second battery and uh, we're gonna get that case and then, Good God, we spent all our money. We need to get the hell out of here. All right, so we got this uh, this big storage box here. Ended up getting the Eagle Claw storage case. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about these clamps right here. But one thing I do know is, again, don't work with this company or anything. Where I'm at right now, Shields has really good customer service and really good return policy. So I got a feeling anything malfunctions or breaks with this guy, which looks like it could. If I'm gonna take the chance on it, I know they'll probably, uh, they'll probably take it back. But let's get the hell out of here before we spend any more friggin' money. It's not looking good for the bank account today. Got all the things. I don't know where that one's at. Total damage done. 793.55. Terrible? Yeah, probably. Let's go home and get everything put together and see if it was worth it. All right, so I just unboxed my brand new Strike Master Auger, and I'm pretty jacked about it actually because one, there's only four pieces. There's this top part that's gonna be your handles, what you're gonna use your trigger mechanism to drill down. Two, this uh, this charger. Three, the battery for it, and of course, the auger part. The second reason I'm excited is this whole thing is freaking light. This is not a heavy piece of equipment. That's one reason I wanted to go with a uh, electric over a gas as well. So let's get this put together, get it charged up, all right, huge thumbs up to the Strike Master augers because this thing was literally the easiest thing I have ever had to assemble in my entire life. Literally, all I had to do was uh, take the bolt out of this right here and then hook it together and put the bolt back in. Go charge the battery, it, uh, I don't know watch, but it's been about an hour and a half now. It came down, it was fully charged, so big props to them on that. Gonna throw the spare extra battery we got on the charger, so we're gonna go, because I'm going fishing tomorrow for a couple days. Yeah, this bad boy right here is uh, good to go, nice and light, definitely uh, gonna be easy to move around, and obviously get to chop a whole bunch of freaking holes. Also, check this out, I got this whole thing right here loaded up, I got my new box and everything figured out. Check out all the stuff I can fit in this guy. I'm totally jacked on it. This part hasn't broken yet, which is kind of surprising. But yeah, so I got like, uh, I got the spare ice fishing rod here. I got three ice fishing rods I can fit in there. Got my fish finder, my fish finder charger. I only really carry one box of stuff for, uh, for fishing. Um, but I got my spare battery in there. I got my light, my, my glow light. Got my ice picks, got spare line, pliers, lighter tent cleats and then I still got room underneath the reels back there if I want to add anything else so super freaking jacked about this box it's definitely going to keep me from having a huge mess putting my, my rods sticking out of the end of the buckets and everything like that so I do strongly recommend this guy right here I will link this guy down below if you're looking to get a little bit more organized out on the ice this year but yeah I got some work to do to get packed up I got this mess right here my boat's in the shop so I got all my stuff out of my boat right now got some brand new secret super secret models of rods coming in that I'm so excited to share with you guys. Next time I do some open water fishing, you'll probably see those even though I can't really talk about them quite yet, but we have some very exciting things coming with Melican Fishing. So I can't wait to show you guys the supporters those things moving forward. Like I said, if you guys are stoked on the uh, the ice fishing videos, please let me know. Um, I, I want to hear from you guys. It's funny, even the guys like my buddy Afrin that owns war baits out in California, never even seen an ice covered like in his life. Uh, if you're watching right now, Afrin, what's up my man? But he's totally jacked on it. He's like, I gotta watch all your ice fishing videos. It just blows my mind. It's totally crazy. Standing on top of ice, on top of water, on top of the fishes. It's hard to wrap your head around if you've never done it. And even if you have done it, I still have a hard time. Anyways, so I gotta get packed up. I will get back on the ice tomorrow. So be checking back for that video tomorrow or the next day. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine I can't stop with a love like mine I can't stop
Jesus, I'm like.